But yeah, that's that's how I made it out. How did you make it out? You know, I'm biased, man. Um, Self awareness. Mm. I'm biased. Uh, if it wasn't for, and I take people on this journey now, where we we analyze the way you think, mm. then we analyze the behaviors you take from the way you think, okay, and then we get to the result. Okay. And so, I'll give you a perfect example. Many of my days in my youth, I would be on a step or hanging out on the fence, you know, and there's drug dealers around, and, and, and not everybody sold drugs, but we were just, we were just there. Mm -hmm. Our families never had vision and never had the means to plan for vacations, and we didn't go to the park, and, you know, we didn't do anything like that. And I remember I would just sit around, man, and I would see a dude one day, next day he's dead, or he in jail, and I just remember thinking, like, how did this person get to this result? Right. And then I would reflect, man, I was just around that dude. They were talking about robbing. They were talking about doing things that got them that result. Mm -hmm. And then going deeper, why did they felt that they had to carry out this behavior? Low self-esteem, mm -hmm. low self-worth. They had some of the scariest people to be around. When you're in, like, the projects in the hood, is a person that does not value who they are in their own life. Man, I'm telling you, you can look into their soul and it'll be empty. Mm -hmm. And they have no value itself and, and they just might take you with them. Whether it be through drugs or, you know, using different means. And I just remember as a kid, man, I, I, I never wanted those results. I wanted more. I didn't know what more would be. I didn't know if it would turn into college. Uh, but sports played a big part. Um, basketball definitely got me through a lot. Um, playing six, seven hours a day, low tops, jeans, just whenever, just so I can escape. Mm -hmm. And um, just really being around that, analyzing the way people man maneuvered, I came up also with, uh, you can take the thoughts, behaviors, results, which is the first part of like my coaching program and we can do something what I call backwards discovery. Ooh, and would you, that. So backwards that. discovery, and I think this may be even the easiest. You take the result, and then you go backwards to the behavior, then down to the thought. Oh. So instead of going thoughts, behaviors, results, you can go, man, look, I'm incarcerated, or I don't have money. Go down to what am I doing daily, weekly, or what have I done daily or weekly that got me to this result, and then you can go, the hardest part is the thoughts, man, because thoughts are not necessarily tangible. You know, you, people can smile, but be empty, right? And if you take happiness, anger, and then empty, we're going to choose to feel anger or happiness before we ever choose emptiness. Because emptiness is where you get that depression and that suicide ideation. Mm -hmm. So when you get someone who's really empty, mm -hmm. they have nothing to live for, they may be a life taker, whether it be their own or somebody else's. And, and they, they, that's tricky. That's mm. tricky to mess around with, man. That's funny you say that because, like, now that you say it, a lot of stuff is keen. Because like, I remember my homeboy would be like, I lay down, I lay down. And I was like, and like, every time somebody say that, I go, Wait, what do you mean lay down? I lay down, bro. Like, book, about mine, but I go do 10. I said, What, 10 where? Yeah. Ten? Not, not 10 push-ups on the sand at the beach. No, he's like, yeah. 10 years? Yeah, bro, I lay down, good behavior, get out of sick. And I didn't realize, I was like, in my brain, I was like, that's dumb. Like, I, I don't, what? Learn behavior, man. If you learn not to value yourself, you will and you talk and behave accordingly. It's, it's, it's simple, yet it's very complex. And, and, and yeah. sure enough. He laid down. Yep. He laid down. Ten he, plus. It, it went well over the time. It, it was about almost a ten, you know, give or take. And just and being out. in the system, and, 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 and then yeah. to this day, he was like, "Bro, I want to come visit you." He said, "But you know, I can't get out in the city because there's no parole and stuff." And I, I keep telling him, "I was like, man, you know what? Life is so much bigger than what you see. It is, man. Outside of these county lines." And I think that's what we, as a culture of. of not only black people, but you know, as we're talking about black men, we don't have that vision. Mm. We weren't taught to have that vision. 
A lot of the times we come from dysfunctional homes and a dysfunctional environment often is going to breed a dysfunctional environment within the self. Oh, and it's without awareness, right? So I, I, this is just what I do. I've always done it this way. And so it's a pattern of comfort. And sometimes that pattern of comfort, it might be behaviors towards prison and you just keep getting out and doing the same thing. It's all you know. Um, but those who really make it through, they've either come across some information, uh, a good network, good mentor, uh, somebody that they respect, somebody that they look up to, and they want something different. Um, but it's hard, man. It's, it's, it's mud work, man. It's dirty work to actually work in, at yourself and look in the mirror and really be like, look, I'm tired of the same shit, I'm tired of the same stuff. I want something different. Um.